Okay, so here we are. Once again, we've got everything ready to go, and now we just need our reflective questions. Okay, so um, I've got this recording right now. I also, I am on uh, mytechbadges.com. I'm on the video one uh, webpage here, and you can see I've got my 10 reflection questions right here. Okay, so they're ready to go. I've, I've got them on my MacBook. And um, I don't know if you can see it on your video, but I can see the green light up here on my FaceTime camera. It's still on, so it still is active. It's not recording yet, but it's active. So if I go over here to FaceTime, hey, there I am. So you don't necessarily need to have to see yourself. In fact, it's better if you don't, uh, because if, if you're looking at yourself, your eyes are down lower. OK, but if you're looking at the at the, the green light, your eyes are looking right into the camera, which means you're looking right at your viewer. OK, so that's really important. So your viewer is either going to see you with your eyes slightly down, which looks just awkward and weird, or they're going to see right into the camera. And that's even better. So this is the technique we're going to use for that. So I'm going to press record, which is the red button right down here. OK. And, um, oh, I want to tell you, this little volume thing here, don't mess with it, okay? That's your monitor volume, and that's going to let you listen to what the microphone's listening to. And if we were to turn that up, it would cause a feedback loop where it it's amplifying what it's hearing, and then it goes back into itself, and it makes this little ee sound. It's not good, so don't, don't panic when you see this is turned down. This is completely normal, okay? So just keep that turned down. All right, so I'm going to press record. Then I'm going to go over to my screen here that I have the questions and I'm going to answer the questions. So let's just do a scenario. So let's say I had to do an animation, let's say a claymation all about the California gold rush. OK, so let's say I'm like a fourth grade student and I had to do a claymation all about the California gold rush. OK, so let's say that's that's what I'm reflecting on. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and press record. And I can see right here from the seconds right here that they're ticking away. Don't panic. You know, just let it record. Okay. If you make up a mistake, just re-say the entire sentence, not just the word, the entire sentence. And we'll fix that later in the post-production, we call it. Okay. So I can see I'm 20 seconds into my recording. I can see my audio levels are nice and good. They're bouncing nice and good like they should. And I'm going to now uh, click on the window. Now I can tell from my green light, it's still on, it's still recording. And that's great because now the only place I'm going to look at is the green light. So let's go. Now you don't answer all these questions and your teacher might assign you just three of the questions and I'm going to ask uh, answer just maybe two or three. So just so you get an idea. Okay. So how much did you learn? So the first question is how much did you know about the subject before we started? Okay. So always say the question to the camera because you can then put that in as a title later on in iMovie. So, how much did you know about the subject before we started? That's the question. Now, here's my answer. Well, what I found really interesting is that it turned out I didn't know very much about the California gold rush. Since I grew up in Canada, we didn't talk a lot about it when I was younger. But now that I've moved to the United States and we're talking about the California gold rush, I was really surprised. That, you know, now things are making sense. Now I know why, you know, they're called the California uh, 49ers and things like that because it's all connected to the California gold rush. I had no idea. I just kind of thought Disneyland was there. Okay, so you see, I kind of rambled on. Uh, best if you don't memorize your answers, you just try to have some ideas of what you want to talk about. Okay, let's do the next one here. Uh, what problems did you encounter while working on this piece and how did you solve them? Okay. Uh, I had a lot of problems working with the clay for claymation. First of all, I would have sometimes like the little characters would fall over and then I'd have to redo the shots. Sometimes I was taking photographs with my hand in there. And so it, it turns out claymation is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. So that's, that's one thing. So I had to go back and reshoot a lot of things. So I guess the biggest way I solved problems was just to go and redo things. I thought I could finish it maybe just one try but I think it took me four or five tries to get it right. But in the end, it worked out better. But that was my biggest uh, problem that I really kind of encountered on this project. OK, now let's say I didn't like that answer. I could just record it again. Or if I flubbed up on here, the next one, I'm going to flub up on a sentence and you can see how it did. OK, let's do number four. What was especially satisfying to you about either the process or the finished product? 
Okay, I love that when it was chance for me to finally show the project that everybody cheered. No, I don't like how that says. Let me start that one again. I love that when I finished the project, the teacher showed it to the whole class and everybody kind of reacted how I thought they would. They, they laughed at the parts that were funny. They were really quiet during the serious parts. And it was really interesting to see how my claymation could be used to teach somebody about something. In this case, you know, about the California gold rush. So that was really kind of uh, very satisfying to me about how butterflies, oh, see, I said the word butterflies, that's messed that up. Let me just say the sentence again. That was very satisfying to me to see um, my fellow students kind of, let's see, I messed it up again. Let's try it again. That was really satisfying for me to see my classmates uh, respond in such a positive way. And everybody's been like, hey, really cool animation. And I, I really liked that. So it was a really fun project. Okay, let's go back. Let me just click on, click on the QuickTime down here in the dock. There I still am. Uh, I've been recording for three minutes and 54 seconds. I'm gonna press stop on that. Okay, now I need to save it. Okay, so I'm just gonna go to file, save. And in this case, I'm just gonna save it to my desktop over here. Now you might have a special folder you wanna save it to, but I'm just gonna save it on desktop. I'm gonna call it um, a gold rush reflection take. Zero one. In case I had to do like, you know, I messed this up and I had to do 22 takes. So gold, gold rush reflection take zero one. And uh, on my desktop, and I'm going to go to save. And now um, it is saving. And in the next video, we're going to talk about how to edit our incredible reflective video.